Welcome to the Blue Cast. You, this intro is already scuffed. I don't. I don't give a shit. Welcome to the Blue Cast. I'm your host, True Blue. Uh, we got Ink Nova, aka Terrence. Uh, hello for the third time. Hierophant Star, aka Zoe. Hello. Double Dog, aka Chase. Hi again. <laughs> I, I, this is the third attempt at recording you, this video. Are you, are you recording this time? Yep. <laughs> All right. The first sure? time my audio cut out, the second time, for some reason, OBS decided to stop recording after I clicked it. This, thir this is the third attempt. It's already scuffed. I don't give a shit. We're moving on. We're talking about Mario. Happy New Year's. Happy whatever. I freaking... Moving day, on. Moving day. on. <laughs> <laughs> moving on to... <laughs> this one for talk. We're talking about Mario. We're talking about Mario. <sighs> Chase, tell us about how amazing Mario Maker is. I, I need a minute. <laughs> uh, you should play Mario Maker Two because it's it's goaded. It's so good. Like it, it, like you, you know the first talk one. About your S plus rings that you don't have. Do you guys hear something? I think here's his audio. I think here's audio is coming out. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, I have S plus, and I don't think any of you do. So, hmm. funny how that works. You or I should have say, I did have guys. S plus. Chase, you, you need a lot more yeah. context because you're coming off as a big asshole without it. That's the point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I had S plus rank in multiplayer versus in Super Mario Maker two, and then yeah, I. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, I still have proof that I had it through the costume, so it's still I still have it spiritually. <laughs> so that's all that matters. No, what did you just say? Elbozo. Okay, you never had it, Terrence. So mm. ratio. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, ratio. <laughs> are you Are you really gonna say that? Can on we the cancel podcast? Double Dog on Twitter? Yeah, go cancel Double God, Dog. God, don't on don't Twitter. don't listen to those two. They haven't shut up for the past freaking like twelve minutes. Anyway. <laughs> Let, let's move on to something more interesting. The Mario movie. No. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. No. no. Okay, as we were saying exactly two minutes and 34 seconds ago, because that's, you know, when the last recording seemed to stop, um, uh, what are your thoughts on the casting of the Mario movie? Jack Black is the only good one. Because it's Jack Black. Mm, you don't want Seth Rogen? Maybe, maybe. I'll, I'll let him. I'll so far, so far, I like them all, including Chris Pratt. Pratt. Oh, besides it, besides it's him. a me, Mario. <laughs> Mario. I'm really excited for Charlie Day as Luigi. I can't wait to see Jack Black steal the show. I know, right? He literally steals the show every time. That's the only one I'm excited yes. for. Jack yeah, Black. as he sh as he should. Can't believe Jack we got Black Kung Fu Panda. It's crazy. I'm still convinced he's gonna be in the FNAF movie. <laughs> Wanted to throw that out. He's there. the voice of Freddy. FNAF podcast yeah. too. Oh no, that Freddy. <clears throat> are you guys excited to see what the Mario? Besides the cast, are you guys excited for the Mario movie? Or are you you worried that it's gonna be a flop? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's I'm probably... not worried. I know it's gonna be a flop. Yeah, I, I know it's gonna be a flop. I feel like it has a fighting chance. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I think, Mario, I think, yeah, I think maybe, it'd be but... funny if we're in the timeline where Mario had good video games and bad movies and Sonic had bad games and good movies. <laughs> that's not a hot take, right? <laughs> eh, kind of. Sonic has had good games, but I mean, his track record ain't too good. <laughs> the movie was good. I'm excited the movie was that great. Movie. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Jim Carrey. And then there's the Shout sequel on the way. Shout out to the Hedgehog for doing yeah. one thing right. Nucleus. Yeah, he flossed. He uh, he made he made he made the Blevins Nucleus. proud. Yeah. I'm Trauma. not making enough movement. Sonic gave enough movement. Oh, I'm not making enough movement. Oh, Is there anything you would like to see in the Mario movie? I want to see a minion at the start saying, Nintendo! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's for me! I want to see a minion. I want to see a 
I want to see a Guru cameo. I would cry. I would Guru cameo. Dream. Of all the, the things, why why Guru? Guru? Why Guru? Because Guru's a king. What's wrong with Guru? Do you want to call him Guru? Not at all. Not at all. Exactly. Just disappointment, that's all. Just disappointment. Here, you know what? I wanna see I wanna see how many people here can get upset. What's everyone's favorite Mario game? Galaxy One Do spin-offs count? No, I'm talking like the, the main series. Uh um, the main yeah, platformers one. and whatnot. Galaxy one. one. Galaxy Galaxy just looking better, but I'm um, okay. Don't you dare that too. And you still wonder why you're set to quiet on these podcasts. It amazes me. It really does. I whispered into that mic, okay? I'll have you know uh -oh. right now in editing, I bet you I have to lower wh what you just said. Uh, New Soup, the original. John Lee? No, the DS. That a good multiplayer. Hmm? Had a good multiplayer. I know. Terrence, what about you? Um, Super Mario World. Okay, so we have one 3, 3D game, two side scrollers. What's your favorite? My personal favorite? Yeah. Honestly? I have it's it's a mixed bag for me. I only say that because I have a lot of bias for various Mario games for various reasons. Mm -hmm. Like the original Mario 64 is now like one of my all-time favorite games only because it Your you know I play? I yeah it was my first let's play I 100% it I just played it a lot I played the DS version. I it, yeah. it, it it's like I got a lot of attachment towards it. Yeah. Odyssey is probably one of my all-time favorite 3D platformers because of how great the mechanics are. And I personally adore Sunshine. Uh, when I The first time I played it was 3D All-Stars, and it's probably my favorite game in the collection. But honestly, it's a very hot take. But like out of those three that I just listed, my personal favorite probably will be Sunshine. Because 64 is good, but compared to the other ones, it's it's pretty dated and odyssey it it's odyssey like it's it, it's it doesn't feel like a fair comparison so i'm, I'm saying sunshine Understandable. even though most Art. of the mechanics are freaking whack i never finished odyssey it's so good you, you gotta finish odyssey bro it's such a good game i i don't have it anymore why it's such a good game <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll have to ask someone if I can borrow their coffee or something. God damn. I didn't even get that far in it. It's so I was... good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Galaxy, my favorite. Okay, so I was good. I was expecting someone to say like a game and then someone else was just gonna start screaming. <laughs> Now, here's a better question. Which Mario games do you prefer, the 2D side scrollers or the 3D ones? I feel like by our choices, we already determined which ones are which, but I'd still like to yeah, hear. Probably, probably 3D, I guess. But I have played more of the side scrollers. I personally have played quite a fair bit of Mario Bros. Wii. But, yeah. Oh. I like 2D ones, actually, mostly just because I don't dislike the 3D ones, but I don't know, I just have more fun with the 2D ones. Yeah, I guess. Terrence, what about you? Mm -hmm. I mean, I grew up playing all the 2D ones, but I have to say 3D. Mostly the ones that are, like, Odyssey. Yeah. So, like, I, I don't know, just the, the movement, it feels nice. Yeah. I also have to say 3D. I, I like 2D side scrollers, but 3D platformers just feel so much more fun to me. Yeah, I agree. I don't know. I feel like 3D is a lot more work in terms of like production and whatnot. 
but I feel like the end result is just it's always better. Like it, it always feels more more fleshed out and more there's more stuff to do in a 3D game. It just feels like a lot especially the movement, like you can never get that same level of movement in a 2D game. The mechanics are always like they're not they're not bad by any means, but in a 2D game they're always like I don't know. Limiting. Like half assed. Yeah, limiting. That's a better word. Half assed isn't the word I'm looking for. Limiting. Limiting. <gasps> Yo! What the hell was that? Sorry, there's a game I really wanted on Switch that's on sale right now, but I don't, still don't have enough for it. Broke ass. Anyway. <laughs> I think that we can't talk about Mario without talking about his creator, who is currently 69 years old. Oh my funny, funny. My, he said the number, guys. You can start laughing now. Sh Shigeru Miyamoto, the man who made Zelda, Mario, Pikmin. Man, he's a he's the man, the myth, the legend. He's made he's Literally. made so much just shit. <laughs> Like, it's so many games. So many games that he has worked on. King. And now he has a theme park. I want to go so bad. I think everyone I'll, does. We can all go someday. My god, I can't wait for the Amiibo collectors to, to start uh, taking those freaking watches. What, what, oh, the watches? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yes. A toad Amiibo, but it is but, it is but a Rolex, of course. <laughs> Watch Stalkers. Right, can we talk about Chris Pratt again? I want to talk about Chris Pratt. No. 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 Yeah, I want, to, I want to talk about Chris Pratt. No, no, no Chris I'm good. Pratt. I'm good. I'm good. Wait, you guys didn't like him in the Lego movie? And it was pretty No, he was good in the Lego movie. Mm -hmm. I give him a pass there. What about Guardians of the Galaxy? I, I okay, really, fine. That's I don't too watch yeah, movies. Yeah, I really Have like you guys movie. seen Jurassic That's World? No. Yes. Uh, yes. How about his performance funny. there? That one was good. Okay. That's three for three. So. Listen, he has pretty good performances, okay? But he yeah. doesn't fit Mario. To me. Mario. Like, that just doesn't sound right. Yeah. It's like, me. literally, Mario. Charles Martinet is, plays a quote unquote cameo in the movie but he, they couldn't even give him his main role he's had for like how many years now 30 something 35 yeah wait chris pratt was in onward oh yeah oh yeah he played the young he played the older brother that was him yeah damn was that a good performance <laughs> for those yeah, I, I, I like i like that movie i actually like onward <laughs> Never watched. I it. totally, totally ran out. Of, I totally didn't run out of movies uh, that he participated in, so I didn't look up the a list of movies he's been in. <laughs> he's got a lot of movies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? They're making a Guardians of the Galaxy three. Of course. Do you know how much know. money the first two made? Hmm. Do you know how much money the first two made? Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, it's, but... It's, it's literally, like, the first one was, like, it's, like, one of the only Marvel movies I've, like, ever watched. Did I? I clicked on TV shows and it said Ben 10. I'm very curious who the hell he played no! in Ben 10. Not ben 10. No shot. That has to be a, that has to be an issue. No shot he played a character in Ben 10. I refuse to believe he actually was. It'd be funny if he was, like, an alien. <laughs> Not an alien. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop looking at Chris Pratt. Focus on uh, Mario. But he is Mario and Garfield. Oh yeah, I forgot about Garfield first. Hey, 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 oh. Terrence, what's your profile picture right now? Uh, Garku. Garku. Garku yeah. Miku. Yeah, you're Mario. You're Chris Pratt. Oh my Yo, God. it's it's a me. Mario. It's it's a me. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> oh. I I feel like everyone's gonna shit on Chris Pratt till the movie comes out, and then that's the deciding factor. <laughs> I will always shit on Chris Pratt. Why? I I do I even 
have to explain why. He's 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 Christopher Pratt. Cope. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go back to talk about Mario now. Eh. Okay. So we can't talk about Mario without talking about Luigi. Luigi's pretty goaded. I like um, Luigi. And if Matt Pat were here, we could talk about Luigi's massive schlong. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> no, if he, if he was here, he'd be talking about the FNAF lore. No. Yeah. How have you um, managed to bring up FNAF twice already? It has been 16 FNAF minutes. Goated. Play Security Breach. Oh my god, True Blue Security Breach Let's Play? No, never happened. <laughs> my PC Yo, cannot handle me recording a game. Cope. Um, Yo, you can, you can how do you guys, it, it's not really a Mario game, it's a Luigi game, but I, I doubt we can milk Luigi's Mansion for an hour, I'll be honest with you. Still technically part of the Mario series. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, Luigi's Mansion, thoughts, opinions, are they good, oh, are Luigi. they bad? I haven't, I haven't, They're I haven't, not bad. I, uh, uh, I haven't played one, a lot of One games. and three are great. But yeah, I've, I've, I've only played Dark Moon. Oh, the worst good. one. <laughs> it, was still, pretty it was still pretty good, though. It wasn't actually, bad by any means, but compared to one and three. <laughs> damn. When you compare the games, it's very obvious where the divide is in quality. Yes, yeah. Luigi's Mansion 3 is an amazing game. Luigi's Mansion 1, it you can't beat the original. Right. And then there's Dark Moon. And then there's the remake of the it, first one. It, it exists. It does exist. I'm gonna play. A, the only listen, I can't shit on it too much because it did give us Polter Pub. True. True. Love Polter Pub. Yeah. But Luigi's Mansion Three also gave us a lot of memes. A lot of memes. Memes. <laughs> and a reference to Mario Strikers of all things. I'll never forget seeing that poster in that that one hallway for the first time and saying, so they do remember this game. Yo, favorite Mario like sports game. Ooh. Uh the uh, baseball. Oh, um, Mario Super Sluggers, best one. God, I don't know I, why. Every time I, I hear someone say the title of that game, I feel like they're saying a slur. I don't know why. What? It feels derogatory when people Jeez. like talk about that game. Like the title at least. Cope, best one. It's I'm literally so good at it. We had it at we had it at my uh my old summer camp, and I would wreck the shit out of like all the kids there. You probably just beat them and then just start just start screwing them, <laughs> like. <laughs> I was always Team Waluigi. The baseball one was very good, but I gotta hand it to Strikers. It is such a good game. Yeah. yeah you're gonna like need one. a pair you're gonna need a pair i hate that yeah, so <laughs> you're gonna need that a pair cursed, that yeah. cursed poster yeah. it that is not cursed that is the best advertisement you've ever seen is you're gonna need a I pair like, i like one video on tiktok about wasn't there a dash one the like, pokemon like, dash uh, one and it had something like that so funny uh, I don't think it was like that, but I know I know um the old yeah the old DS ones were like touching feels good and shit like that. No, that's just that was just the whole like campaign. That was the whole like, brand. Touchy is good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Touchy is good. It was wild. I don't know why. Um, I will I will say though, probably a hot take, but the Mario Golf games are the the worst in the franchise. Oh, listen, I I don't want yes, people love them. I agree. Them. I actually I agree. They're so boring. <laughs> no, because people will like literally say like, "Oh my god, why aren't you Mario Tennis? You can play golf." I'm like, "But tennis is the better one, though." Literally. I will say the Mario Tennis games still have yet to compare to Wii Sports Tennis. For real, for real. Um. Mm. Wii and Wii Sports Golf, as shitty as the Wii Motion controls are, if you don't have Wii Motion Plus, it is so still so much more fun than every Mario <laughs> Golf game I have laid a hand on. I just don't really like Mario Golf, really, to be honest. This could also be an issue of the fact that it's golf. I'm not saying golf's True. a bad game, but it's what golf. you're making, you're trying it's to golf. take golf, golf faster Mario. and make it like extreme. 
That's that's your mistake. <laughs> you, you you just can't. I don't. Yeah. And then there's the the oh so forgotten basketball games. Just basketball. <laughs> games? Ball. Remember Barry, when, there's yeah. like one. Remember when? Remember when uh, the final boss of one of the the games was a Final Fantasy boss? Well, yeah, the whole game was like a Final Fantasy crossover. Fortune Street, right? No, that was a. Uh, wait. Aren't you talking about hoops? Wait, there's a Final Fantasy basketball. Game. I believe so. It was. I don't know. It was the one where the final Hoop. boss was. It was. Yeah, it was on Mario Hoops three on three was a crossover with Final Fantasy. No way. Was that actually a crossover with Final Fantasy? I never knew that. Well, it had Final, well, it had Final Fantasy characters in it. I didn't even know that. <laughs> really? I didn't even know that they. I thought. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I. I had no. The, I will say the basketball like Mario basketball games are like the most niche thing because like that's like the only one I've ever heard of and even then I barely know anything about the game. Damn. It, which is surprising to me because basketball seems like a very popular sport. I'm a lot more popular than golf, let me tell you that much. Uh, it was Mario yeah, Sports Mix. Mario oh, that, oh, that too. It's Mario weird. I feel like, it, like I understand why they make so many like tennis games because I feel like tennis is a very, after like the whole Wii Sports like renaissance of the tennis. I feel like they they're mm-hmm. trying to capitalize like all the Mario tennis games. Even though like the one on Wii U is like sold shitly, they still make them because like they they make money. But it's weird that golf is like the runner up in terms of like we need a new sports game in the series. You know. I don't know. I just wish they prioritized Mario Tennis more. I will say Which, I'm surprised. I hope I hope they make another Super Sluggers game. I'm very surprised that they have yet oh to go God. back to soccer since that is like the biggest sport. <laughs> <laughs> eh, it's not really the biggest sport, I'd say. Well, not in America. Not other sure. countries. It's, it's very big. Yeah. Oh, America, it's football. Football. I'm. I. I mean. I understand why there's no Mario football game. Yeah, it's only really popular in North America. Not only that, but it's like the I feel like the issue with making this this has to do with football games as a whole. This is probably a hot take, but football doesn't make an entertaining video game in my opinion. Well, like, I feel like that's Madden, the one sport really popular, that is worst when played digitally. Yeah, Madden, well Madden is really I, even then, I still feel like if watching it on a TV or just like passing a ball outside, I still feel like it's always more fun to me than a digital. Yep. There are exceptions to the rule, of course, like very obscure. But if you have uh, NES online, you can play uh, Tech Mobile or Techno Bowl or whatever. Yeah, it, it's absurdly fun for being at like an NES game and it's football and it's it's like. <laughs> Like the quality control of that game is, is a whole other story, but I I love it to death for whatever reason. But I will say, it, it makes sense to me why there's no Mario football game because it's like, okay, a lot of those games have like mechanics where it's like, oh yeah, it's it's special, it's different. It's like, oh here's a special attack with my baseball. Oh here's a charged kick or something. It's those mechanics are what make the game special, and I like how would you accurately portray something like that in football Mm -hmm. because it's like okay each character will have like a different role they'll have to have like some kind of different things like you know some people can tackle whatnot but it's like what they can't have a special tackle special like throw or something because i feel like it breaks the game because you know it's it's very teammate based and very like the other person needs to be able to catch the ball it needs to go this place you know like you got to move and shit so Trying to add a Mario flair while making an entertaining game. Like, it's very clear to me why they don't make football games. Plus, I mean, it yeah. only sell well in America. And even then, if it sells bad here, they, you know, they, they kind of lost their target. Yeah, true. And what's funny is that seemingly in all the collection, like mini game collection games and sports collection games, they have like equestrian sports. 
Oh yeah. It feels well, no, weird. No. I feel like every game they want to make an equestrian game, like based off like the collections, but they have yet to even make a. It, it, like a singular like well aren't, aren't the equestrian ones only in like the olympic games no even like some like mario like the like i don't think it's the sports mix but like one of the, like the 3ds has like a sports collection and it has question oh, i know what you're talking about i've a lot of the collection based sports games olympics included they all have like a question sports no oh, they do seemingly like I, since I can remember, at least, it feels like they always want to make an equestrian game, but they just don't because they, they, I doubt it would sell. <laughs> yeah, just kind of a random sport to like make a whole game based around. We have golf though. Yeah, I'll continue I mean, to golf show is, golf, golf is a lot more popular than fucking called equestrian and stuff. I mean, I know that, but it's just man, I can, can I can shit on Mario Golf all day. Because it's just not fun to me. It really isn't. I'm glad Bad someone game. said it, finally. I'm yeah. finally glad someone said it. The only game golf-related, and I say related very loosely, that I enjoy is Kirby's Dream Course. Ooh, you're right, actually. And it, that's not even close to, like, real you know, accurate uh, golf. You know the, um... It's like, an S it's like an SNES... It's an SNES game where... Kirby, like, is the ball. <laughs> like, it's weird. I can't really describe I mean, It's just golf, essentially, but it's, like, actually it's, fun. It's golf, but they remove all the boring parts. Oh. <laughs> Does it sound entertaining <laughs> now? You hit yeah. Kirby. You, you tell Kirby, bounce this way, and he bounces. Nice. Uh, and it has a really fun multiplayer. Me and Terrence played and lost our shit. <laughs> Don't get me started with it. Um, <laughs> but... Like hell, Wii Sports Golf is easily my least favorite in the in the package. What? Wii Sports Golf easily the worst, like my least favorite in the package. That is Wii yeah, Sports. Yeah, I can agree. Like, I feel like golf games. I was I literally suck ass at it. I mean, the motion controls suck ass for that game. Yeah. They they don't work half the time. That's the best part. Exactly. The sensors are like doo doo. I will say I guess, though, I feel I guess that's like what, um, I guess what you get for a 2005 game being like. The I, first I feel step, like, like golf, slightly though. bad for shitting on golf so True. much because it's it's clear that the devs behind the the one on Switch are really trying to make this a, like a, a fun, popular, long lasting game with content and shit. Because they've they've dropped s some content here and there, and whatnot. And, and like hell, tennis that game got content for so long. Um, but mm -hmm. I, I, my main issue with the sports games as of now, because, you know, they only make tennis and golf, uh, which, in my opinion, are, are like the they're my two easily my two least favorite Mario sports categories. Damn, I don't I like I enjoy the tennis games, but like out of all the ones that I've played easily, my least favorites come from the tennis and golf series. I don't think I've ever played one of the tennis games, like the Mario you tennis can't, game. You can't you beat soccer. Out. You can't beat strikers. Uh, you can't beat sluggers. They're two amazing games. Yeah. Um. All the collection mm -hmm. games are all you know. They all have those like, uh, like the the few ever so few basketball games are all like enjoyable. It's just I don't know what it is. It's just it never grabbed me. Like it never seemingly grabbed me like it has so many other people. No, mm -hmm. it's probably just because I'm good at Mario Tennis, but I like really love Mario Tennis like a lot. I don't I, really like fun. unlike I don't dislike it like I do golf, but it it's definitely like if given the option, I'm not picking it. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I can see that. I'd rather play freaking shitty Just Dance on Switch or whatever the hell that thing was. Yeah. We don't need to talk about that. No. We, we can. We can save that we got just um just dance podcast hell no hell no. what are you gonna talk ah, about copyrighted no. music i'll get demonetized <laughs> you can't even actually wait we can talk about just dance one of the games had a mario song really i don't remember which one but you could get a thing and they had this really creepy looking mario costume that you had to hold dance up, along hold with up, hold up. oh I'm, i remember it i remember seeing it I think I know what you're talking about. That's the one uh, I have. 
That is cursed. <laughs> That is cursed. It's in it's in 2018. Just Dance 2018. Uh. Why does he look like that? Anyway, if we're talking about we've been talking a lot about spinoff games, so I think it's only fitting we talk about the, the other two big ones, the Party uh, and Cart car, series. Car, car, car. Um, and I'm gonna That's say a hot take right now. I don't give a shit about like either one of those franchises. <laughs> of what? I really don't give a shit about Mario Kart or Mario Party. Damn, really? I love Mario it's, Kart. It's it's very much a hot take, but I don't know. I prefer literally everything else <laughs> that Mario I has. I, def I definitely prefer Kart over Party. I will say Mario yeah, Party. I prefer Mario Kart over Party. I prefer Mario Party over Kart. I think I think I, I've, Party I've only recently gone into Beth. Mario Party with Super. Is it yeah. Super? Superstars. Super is Mario, yeah, that's the one. There's Super, there's Super Mario Party, and then there's Mario that's the Super other one Party on Switch. No, Super. I, I yeah. did get Mario Party Superstars. I have played it a few times. All I did was Trump Call, and it was a very enjoyable process. Oh my god! Um, it was he, not. He I'll tell you right now, it was not. I think, I think my main issue Hit with me. Mario Party <laughs> is um, like the mini games are fun. I, I think yeah. it's more of the boards for me. I don't know what it is. It's just. You have to have a long attention span to like it. I have a long attention span. It's I it's not even that. It's I really don't. I enjoy everything about it, but the boards. Like I feel like every board, yeah. all yeah, the yeah, yeah, boards yeah, yeah. really just none of them grab me. None of them are like yeah, I want to really, play here. Like boring. I will no, say. No, wait, 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 wait. Actually, the ones in, in my opinion, best Mario Party game is. Eight on the Wii, and that one has really good yes. words. I really like. Koopa's Tycoon Town is. Oh I, my I God. will say. I really, I like the, my, my uh, knowledge like of Mario Party really isn't well. isn't too well, but out of all the boards that I've seen, I will say, the ones they picked to bring over onto the the new Switch one, I feel like were very solid choices. Which but, one did they bring over? They're all, they're all in sixty four boards. Which yeah, one, that's which the, ones that's did the they point. bring over? That's the point. They, they were they were Portland. they were picking ones from Mario Party one to th two and three to bring over, and it, Dude, I mean I, I really I, like two. I, really I, like four. I would easily I say they should have picked you know boards from a, a few other games as well because the Mario Party one boards are small as shit. Like they're not. They're not too yeah. good. I don't know why. I don't know why they picked Woody Woods. I don't know why. I, really, I, I don't. I really like Mario Party too. I had that on Wii U Virtual Console. I, I, I don't know. Mario Party's has has been fun to me though. I do wish though. Uh, this might be because I, I really love board games, but I don't know. Just collecting the coins and buying the stars. I don't know. There's a part of me that wishes there's there was just just ever so more. The the board, like I said, the boards in the eighth game in the eight one. Are like really good. Like they act. They like they have like more stuff to do in it. Yeah. No. You're right. Maybe I wish yeah, there was more capitalism, like Monopoly. <laughs> Isn't like the fucking Koopa one like that? Yeah, it is. I, I barely played that one. You barely? I usually play the um the train and the Goomba Island one. Goomba. Damn. Goomba. Sorry, Koopa's Tycoon Town. Yeah. Is just no, so, I usually play so it on the train. I, that, I, that was I, good too. I did. I did like the town though. The town and the train were my favorite. I know a lot of people really shit on Super, the the first one that came out on Switch, and I I, uh, I actually I actually I don't own it, but I have played it before, and I will say, I will say, and I know a lot of the 3DS ones people shit on, but a lot of mechanics that have appeared in those games that haven't like appeared in other ones, I feel like they're really solid mechanics, but because of the games they're a part of, they don't get the light of day. Nice mm, yeah, have, no, you're right. Um, I nice really love the the buddy yeah. feature where you could like pick up oh, yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, like, um, yeah. and, like that's one feature I kind of wish they cared over. Yeah, I agree. I, I really like that feature. Um, well, there was something on. It, it's a very was... obscure thing, but it, but it's it's a feature that for some reason I really enjoyed. I have not played it. But I enjoyed like watching people play it, and it was it was one of the 3DS ones had this mechanic. It, it was it's it was you played as a toad, and then you got oh, characters along God. the way. It's such a specific thing that a lot of people shit on, but I thought it was enjoyable. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I know what you're talking about. It's very very 
niche, yeah, I guess, I, is the word. I know. Here, with Island Tour. No, I don't. It's from, uh, it was from, it was from Star Rush, I think. Uh, I knew it was one of them. I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> what are you maniacally laughing about? <laughs> Look what I said. <sighs> we're doing a. Okay, no, we're doing a podcast, but that is really funny. Yeah. That is really. <laughs> Comedy. Comedy. Anyway, I want to talk shit about Mario Kart because it's the one what? game that everyone loves. Literally, why? Love Mario Kart. It's listen. This this just has to do with the fact that I dislike racing games. <laughs> they just I don't give a shit about racing games. I love games. I, I don't know. It it's just boring to me. It really is. It's. Um. By the way, I'm still mad about that Tanuki Mario. <laughs> oh, we're also oh we're also mad about that. Don't, yeah, don't worry, not. it's not just you. I I strive with Tanuki Mario. Just Ever since I decided to start playing hey. Tanuki Mario, I got good at Mario Kart. I don't oh, know how. Oh, it Mario, Mario Mario Kart mains. What are your Mario Kart mains? Yoshi. Dry bones. Code. You're a true boner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I got. Guys, I mean, like this video if you're a true boner. <laughs> <laughs> All the boners, comment down below, I'm a boner. Like and subscribe if you're a true boner. <laughs> comment down below if you're a true boner. My my mains are either Breath of the Wild Link or the Green Inkling Girl. Or the what? The Green Inkling Girl. Okay, so the characters that aren't from Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, but if we're I, talking I, around I, the whole franchise, the answer is Funky Kong. When I when I was Ew. exclusively, no, was was there's the a reason he's not in Mario Kart Eight. I'm sorry. I know I know the Donkey Kong franchise is very far from like where Mario is currently, but like, goddamn, would I love to see the more monkeys in the <laughs> in the Mario Kart games? Monkey. I'd love to see the whole DK family just, just start giving Mario I mean, Green Shell drive bys. You know? Monkey Kong is in D, so. Don't don't forget about Diddy and forty dollar Diddy. Diddy in the mobile game. Forty dollar Diddy. Yeah. Never forget forty dollar Diddy. <laughs> that was my favorite Twitter account. What? Why is he worth forty dollars? The world may never know. Um listen. I know Mario Kart's very popular. It it can be fun, and I have had fun with it. I love Mario Kart. But we're talking about, like, one of the biggest gaming franchises that has traveled into, like, every genre yeah, of game. Most, Mario Party Deluxe is the most sold game on Switch. I know. It, I don't know what it is. But Mario Kart has just always felt like it was, like, that was the racing game you play with friends. And, like, I play it, and I'm like, wow, yeah. I'm bored. I wish I could play a different game with my friends. <laughs> like... I don't what know. Else, what else is there to play? I don't know. Smash Brothers, the best multiplayer game. And I'll die on that. Uh, no. Okay, I won't die no. on that hell. There's so no. many other better multiplayer games. There's a lot of better multiplayer no. games. I won't die on that hell. Narf. Will, that, that, is a, that is a bit. That is a bit. I'm Smash, not dying on that Smash hill. Fans sure. Derogatory. Smash fans derogatory. <laughs> sure, sure. No, but... Dude, Luigi's Mansion multiplayer feels more fun than Mario Kart, and that is not a hot take because you that is door, that is stupidly door fun. That is this that is such a stupidly no, fun mechanic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play. What the fuck? Lu you I'm haven't Alex, you I haven't you lived till you've been trapped in a door in Luigi's Mansion three, and your friends aren't near you, so you just have to mash and like you got to mash harder and than freaking <laughs> any game. You get carpal tunnel Terrifying. if you get stuck in two doors in a row. Let me tell you. I'm gonna play Mario Kart right now until my Switch overheats because of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I, I know it's a very much a hot take, but I've been getting... I haven't played too much Mario Party, so my opinion on that is still very, like, loose and very, like, very much so that I, I can't really say, like, uh, my honest opinion right now, but I can't say it's my honest so... opinion about Mario Kart, and it, I don't know it, it. Every part about Mario Kart screams not for me. 
I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna say right now Mario Party's better. Yeah, just just in terms of like multiplayer. Maybe it's I mean, because Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has been around for so long and that's the one that I've been stuck playing the most and it's honestly kind of dragged on me since it's it's been around for so long and it's just boring. Just it's seeing so that game tiring. Now. It's just so tiring. And like, I really, I really enjoyed Mario Kart Tour on launch because it was just new and then I realized it was a mobile game and then that sunk in and then honestly, it's just not that fun. Don't forget, it's a gotcha game. <laughs> but like, yeah. if, if I like, pull like play like mario kart ds or like i play a different mario kart game um mario kart 7 was i mario i kart have fun i still so have good. fun with the franchise but i think that my my I've modern my current like opinion has to do with the fact that we've been living in a mario kart 8 world for god like a decade since since 2014 you've been living with it seriously mario freaking 2014 it was either 2013 or 2014. It's been almost a decade. It's absurd. I know the game sells More well, years. but goddamn, stop shoving it in my face for so many years. Have you guys Literally. heard the rumors that have been coming out since yesterday? What rumors? Dude, there's been rumors for new Mario Kart seemingly every day, and, and none of them pan out, man. This this one's like actually spreading through Twitter. It's about Mario Kart 9 uh, possibly coming out this year. Yo! It has the movie voice actors. I would, I would cry and not not uh, about tears right now. Apparently, according Jesus to this article, it uh, it's it's what Mario Kart but with a twist. Oh, it has okay. more than than Mario characters. A, a twist! Oh my god! That's, that's wonder, that probably double that dash, probably is double the dash, twist. double dash. I would cry. What? I have listen. Uh, I have yet to personally no. own that game, but if there's one Mario Kart game I that I want to see come back, it's Double Dash because I want I want Double Dash online multiplayer. That sounds like absolute hell incarnate, and I want to experience it, especially with Switch Online. If it's as shitty as Switch Online is currently, that would be absolute torture and i want to experience it i'm not a masochist i just want to see how amazing that game would be i'm going i'm, I'm going online play right now <sighs> yo wild to the that switch isn't lasting 10 minutes oh you know i find it funny that we've managed to talk like half an hour about spinoff games yeah speaking of which mario and rabbits the, yo, uh, the game the, no I, one expected but everyone game. liked <laughs> Uh, there's a sequel on the works. Is it 2022? Yeah. I so. Okay, that's another game to add to the the list of amazing games coming out the year. Listen, you you they sold me on Rabbit Rosalina. Okay, they sold me. Rabbit Rosalina. Uh, I thought they sold you on Bois. Bois. Oh, I'm Bois phobic because of because of Uno. I am Bois phobic. <laughs> I swear to God. Uh, we haven't played Uno in a while. I, I mean, you know, we haven't really played many Switch games with you in a while because your Switch yeah. doesn't work. Um, yeah. Fix your Switch. Out to that. Oh God my damn. God. Put it outside in the oh snow. It's winter time. Huh. Bro, they, the, the map is yeah, on the What cool. the hell? Or mirror, whatever it's called. Mirror mode? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be very honest with you. Who was shocked when Mario pulled out a freaking gun? What? I know it's a blaster, but Mario Rabbids opens with oh, Mario, Mario with a gun. Like, I need to know. Pretty, pretty fitting. I remember my reaction being like, finally. You know? Finally. Um, the toads I, have mocked him for There was long. a part of me that got a little scared. I was like, don't tell me it's the Shadow the Hedgehog route where everything goes downhill. <laughs> Don't 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 make the shadow the hedgehog. You give him a gun and it goes downhill. Um. Also, the, the tactical RPG that is Mario and Rabbids. It, it's actually good. It, it's weird that I can say the word Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle is a good game, and everyone will agree with me. But for the most part, I don't really like it. I don't really like game style like that. <laughs> But for those who do like that genre of game, which I do, it's enjoyable. Like when I had it, like it was pretty good, but like it definitely wasn't like a favorite. 
you know, my favorite part is when the rabbit starts speaking and all you heard was Bois, you know. Bois. Hey, Bois. I hate him so much. And then they I gave was, Yoshi a bazooka. Was, like, you couldn't make it. You couldn't write a better game. For real, I guess. Yeah. Luigi dabs. Yoshi's cool. got a bazooka. Peach has a shotgun. I mean... <laughs> Rabbit Listen, the new uh, Call of Duty writes Luigi, itself. Uh, it really does. Yes, uh, <laughs> hey. Black Ops. Rabbit. Rabbit. Call of Duty is Splatoon. <laughs> so since since we started talking about RPGs um, and Mario, uh, we, we, what are, which which titan of genre do we tackle first? Wh which title? Yo, Mario RPG. We we okay. We got Mario RPG. We got Mario Luigi. We got Paper Mario. Wh wh who wants who wants to open those cans of worms? I should do Mario RPG. Probably Mario, Mario RPG. Mario RPG. Mario RPG first because it's, it's only I never, one. I never really had any of the RPG games. Well, technically, Paper Mario and Mario RPG are one and the same, technically. Because Paper Mario is supposed to be a sequel to RPG. Or at first, it was. I it mean, listen, really I, can't, I can't really speak too much from Mario RPG. I can talk a crap ton about the other ones. Mario RPG is the one that it's like, oh my god, Gino. That's a. Oh my god, Gino, guys, it's the guy everybody wants to smash. <laughs> He's never getting in, guys. I'm sorry. Look, I know it's like it was Maybe like the smash Mario game. RPG game, but Mario Luigi and Paper Mario have had some very solid games. I don't see why people always go back to that one. I'll be honest with you. What, Mario RPG? Yeah, I know it's a good game, but it's like people are I, there's some like hardcore fans that are always like mario rpg is the rpg for mario and it's like no. have you played the no. other ones i mean no it's the one made by square enix everybody said oh my god sephiroth i know huh? phony whatever <laughs> look i okay a heart t hot take i want to hear it Wh which which one is better paper mario mario and luigi series i need to know i need to hear it Mario and Luigi. Yeah, Mario and Luigi. I'm also Mario and Luigi. I don't really well, have an opinion. I'm only right saying that because my favorite game ever is a Mario and Luigi game, so... Ooh, your favorite game, like, period? Yes. Which one? Dream Team. Which, yes, I know literally zero people are going to agree with that, but... I feel like it, it was... A, I, I don't know. I remember the advertisements being, like, the best shit you could find. Yeah, there was... Touch Luigi's mustache yeah. and <laughs> Dude, Year of Luigi hits different. Year of Luigi hits goddamn different modern day. I, that was probably like my favorite campaign stunt Nintendo's ever done. Like non-ironic Mario Luigi. Touch not Mario Luigi. Um, yeah, that was pretty good. Year, yeah. year, of, year, of, Luigi. year of Luigi. That was that was really good. I like we should do it again. Uh uh rest in peace Iwata, but like the advertisements he yeah. like partook in. Um, wow. They, uh, those bring back a time. Like, th that was a different time. It really was. What a time. And that time was, like, 2013. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Holy shit. I have so many topics written down that we, like, never touched. And we are, like, 10 minutes. We we're at 48 minutes in. All right, let's let's, let's speedrun this. So you want to speedrun? Okay. Favorite power up. Mario's known for his power ups. What is your favorite power up? Mm. And we're not yeah. gimmicks. So, so like, some people like saying gimmicks and power ups, like putting those in the same category. That's a separate thing. So like, stuff like spin the spin jump, a uh, flood, like those random gimmicks. Those are separate. Oh, you want to know what my favorite power up is? I really like the B one from Galaxy. Oh, I like B Mario. Yeah. Okay, this is very specific, but the blue shell from Mario DS is my favorite power up oh, only yes. because of the versus yes. mode. Yes. Oh my god, yes. I don't know what oh, it is, wait, but I what? I love that power up. You know, like the blue shell power up from DS. And I didn't play the DS one. Okay, oh my so God. essentially, play better games, bro. So essentially, you just—it's just like when you run with it, you go. It, in well, shell. First of all, make, yeah, and it makes you swim faster underwater too, like slightly. I just but remember the, trolling people cares with that, that power up, and it's it's amazing. If no one cares about the swimming part. It's just the part that makes you go in the shell. It's, just, it's so much fun. Um. 
Now, uh, Chase, what about you? Penguin suit, probably. Oh, oh that's a good yeah, one. That that's do. a good I one. Love... Wait, wait, from which game? Though? What do you mean, from Wii? But like, isn't it in um Galaxy 2? No, that's the ice. No, what? no, it's not. Galaxy the has ice, ice flower, has. Galaxy. OG Ice Flower, which is the better of the two. This is a hot take, no, but I, pref I prefer no, that. No, isn't there a Penguin one? Nope. No. There's Cloud Mario. There's Cloud Mario, B Mario, Ice Mario, Fire Mario, Spring. Oh, yeah, Ew. Spring. I literally hate Spring Mario. Um, boy, boy. Boy, I think everyone does. Terrence, but... what's, what's your favorite power-up? Uh, coming from my favorite game, it is the Cape Feather. Broken. That, I feel it's like that's, use, that's the basic. That's like the basic answer. To be honest with you, that's like it's that's like use, that's like the basic bitch Mario answer. It is very broken. But I think yeah, I... the basic the basic answer is the mushroom. <laughs> no, basic basic answer would be fire flower. I feel. Yeah. I think I can agree on that. Okay, is it is it a hot take to say that the ice flower from Ga from Galaxy is better than the modern day iteration? Um, no, it is not. Wait, I hate the. I don't like the modern day ice flower. I I hate it like a lot. Actually. I don't mind it. I I honestly enjoy both. It is fire it's fire just... flower, but ice. So in Galaxy, you can't freeze people with it, but you can. You just become ice. And you you become oh, ice. Uh, you skate everywhere. Like, you freeze water. It, it's it's stupidly fun. And then we messed it up. And then, I mean, how would they import those mechanics into a 2D style? That's true, but I don't know. I see why they changed it, but they, I feel like they shouldn't. Too, have, but... They shouldn't have made it the Ice Flower. They should have made a separate power up. Yeah. Instead of taking that one, I don't. Again, I don't mind the Ice Flower how it is nowadays, but the Galaxy one was just so much fun. And then yeah. there's one in Partners in Time. Yeah, now I remember it. Yeah. That the one in no. Partners in Time was. It's, it's just the fire flower. It's Carpal just tunnel. the fire flower. Carpal tunnel. You can't tell me Partners in Time didn't give like half the people who played it like hardcore Carpal Tunnel. No, 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 it did. It did. That game destroys did. your hands. No, everyone's it's not as bad as Kid Icarus Uprising on 3DS Mario Party. and freaking the controls for that game, but... It destroyed my hand. The, the, the N64 for Mario Party games, though? Didn't they have to like give people gloves for that? Yep. <laughs> Can I? You know, it's funny when you get those mini games on um, Superstars. It has a little warning, like, "Do not use your palm. Just don't." <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? I did. I used my palm, and I won. How come? Wait, how come you can't? Because you. Um, well, back in in sixty four, what happened was it was like tug of war. Like that's the famous one where it was like a one v three. And it's like, you're only, because you have to spin the analog stick very fast. You, the only way of getting good speed is not using your fingers. I think every gamer knows you just, that's, that ain't it. Yeah. So you just use your palm. Because it's, it's a quick, like, five second thing, so you do that. But when a, lo a lot of games back in, like, Mario Party 1 are like that, you're, you're using your palm a lot, so you're beating the shit out of your skin. And you're getting, like, burns and, like, cuts and whatnot, so it was a big deal. Damn. Um, now I did say gimmicks were separately, so I just want to say, what is your favorite, like, game gimmick? So, like, not a power-up, but a, a gimmick like Flood. I like the Lima. Ah, uh, the I spin think... jump and shit? Yeah, I just think it's cute, too. Do spin-offs count? I think he's talking about, like, main series. Yeah. I... What, what, what did you have in mind, though? Like gimmicks. Yeah, what do you have in mind if you're if we're including spinoffs? All right, all right. It's a hot, hot take, hot take. I know, but like I really liked the Paper Mario Color Splash gimmick. I thought that was. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. I see why that would be hot take. What was it? I it's not as it's not as bad as Sticker Star. It's not as bad as Sticker Star. It is not. It is not. It is not. But it's people still it, people still dislike it. What was it? Because it's on Wii U. You have to you have to paint cards. Oh yeah. 
but like you only had a certain amount of like paint to use so you could run out of it. Oh yeah. Did that game come out before or after Splatoon? Um, after. after. Yeah. Okay, so it was influenced from Splatoon, good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Platoon came out in 2015. Um, no, but I was talking about main series gimmicks. Okay, it's just kind of a boring answer. I mean, they're Cappy. usually found okay. only really in 3D. The 3D platformers like Cappy. Yeah, yeah I like Cappy you Cappy know. the most. Cappy. Uh, I'm gonna say Cappy. That, Cappy was the most unique. <gasps> yeah. I mean, like he was, but Flood is so much fun. <laughs> Flood is fun. Uh, I don't actually like Flood that much. I yeah, I love Flood. Like, can we talk about like the banger tracks in like every game? Yeah. As like. Well, that's just a given for Mario. Yeah. Really good. Well, if you can tell me, if you can tell me a Mario game that doesn't have good music, I'd love to hear it. Like you will see me busting down to jump up star on Bailey. There is <clears throat> okay. This isn't technically a Mario game, but there is one game that has that is on uh, related to Mario at least that has a shit. It's not a bad soundtrack, but it has some absolute god awful sound uh, uh, songs. You mean sound like design? Uh, no, just like song, like background music. Uh, uh, and that would have to go to Yoshi's Crafted World. Oh god, the music in that game! Oh, oh no. <laughs> you just, the RC like, crafts music. You just like you woke up something in me. Oh, like a memory, <laughs> dude. Oh, wait, that what? shit haunts me. What game? Dude, Yoshi's the, Crafted World. The Switch one. Oh. Dude, oh. you know like Woolly World's like beautiful soundtrack. Dude, it was, like, World so is common. so good. It's such a it good so game. Good. And then there's Crafted, then Crafted World, World, and it's so oh, god. Uh, it's I'm sorry. I remember when Crafted World was like first announced, and I was like, I everyone did. It was made by the same people who made Woolly World, and Woolly World is such an amazing game. And then we got Crafted World, and I don't know what it was, but it it never it never reached that level of enjoyment. It wasn't bad by any means, but goddamn, Woolly World's such a good game. I got halfway through the game and then stopped playing it because I was yeah. like, uh, "Did you actually bored. Wait, no, Woolly I World? Got, I, I, I was a hundred percenting every stage. Oh yeah, I no, I was it. telling you, don't be a dumbass and go back to it because you're gonna regret your life, and then you did. Yeah, and then I just never went back to it. <laughs> I like the amiibos for that game; they were cute. Oh, the amiibo sequel to Amiibo Costumes? No, like like, uh, like the Woolly World amiibos, like little like, little plushies. Oh, those. I want to see the Woolly World. I have I have I have the little green one and I have Poochie. Yeah, Poochie's so adorable. I want the Woolly World Poochie one so much. They get mad dusty though, which is kind of annoying. I mean, they are plush. <laughs> and and they're yarn, so. Um, well, there's so many other topics we didn't even touch, like, uh, Mar like how, how Mario revolutionized gaming, how he's a mascot, yeah. emulation, yeah. and that can of worms. <laughs> I, I was holding <laughs> off on that one. I was holding off on that one because, of, uh, we all have very strong opinions on that, especially because we're talking about Nintendo here. Um, what, emulation? Uh, the well, whole the Mario situation specifically. Uh, we didn't get to talk about merchandise, and there's a lot of funny merch stories we have with that. Um, I was going to talk about a bit about Odyssey 2, but we have run out of time. <laughs> Is there going to be Odyssey 2? No, but goddamn, if people won't shut up about it. Mm. I was also going to shut on the mobile games, uh, specifically Mario Run. Damn, I just like Mario Run. Mario Run, I thought was fun. I don't agree that you should have to pay for the entire thing, but yeah, yeah. that no. I was I I don't think it's a bad game. I find it enjoyable for what it is, but I will shit on the fact you have to pay ten dollars. Why is it ten dollars? That that's so Seriously, stupid. 10? They have to pay ten dollars. Yeah, capitalism. And then they shut down Doctor Mario, the Doctor Mario one, and that one was stupidly fun. That one Damn, was. They shut it down. They, too they quick. shut that down. Yeah, like it's it was only out for like a year. Um, honestly, yeah, it's it's actually fitting that uh, out of all the podcasts, is probably the first one that we've had so many topics to the point that like oh, yeah, we couldn't reach them all, and it's fitting Man, because there are multiple podcasts before this, which you should all check out by the way, because you know they're all enjoyable, just like this one. 
Uh, oh my fucking god. Mar- Tanuki Mario on my fucking ass again. I swear to god. <laughs> Um, there are we have talked about Mario plenty of times on these podcasts before, and we have seemingly never stopped talking about Mario. And there's still so much more. Yeah. Um. Hell, we could probably we could easily do a second Mario podcast. I was gonna say, why don't we just do a part two, like some like late like later. Speaking later. of part twos, next one is actually the first part two, and that is Pokemon. We're going back to it. No! Uh, yeah, I, I, I think it makes a year of us doing the Pokemon podcast next month, and so it's fitting that Legends Arceus is also coming uh, end of January, so we can talk about that as well. Uh, next month, we are talking about Pokemon again. I don't know who is attending that one, but uh, I, I can tell you right now, we are going to be... Probably well. Everyone going is going to be I freaking was... out, and it's going to be very much a heated debate on if Legends Arceus is a good game. I think it's gonna be- it's i i'm very strongly think it's gonna be fun but i i have a feeling exactly. it actually looks pretty good it looks beautiful yeah and they're bringing much one egg <laughs> there's no tepic bad Gen game zero out of ten hope oh. oshawott is better uh, okay Whoa. oh you're in for it now okay <laughs> um anyway i want to thank you guys all for showing up for the mario podcast No problem. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to thank the viewers if you made it this far. Uh, make sure you check out more podcasts and uh, make sure to... I, I'll bring it up again. Make sure you prove you're a real boner. Comment down below. You are a <laughs> you're yes. true boner. Let's see where the boner's at. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Chase really loves there. really loves meeting fellow boners. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the better boner? Why is this where the podcast peaks? The very end. <sighs> this is comedy, my friend. Anyway, next month's Pokemon. That's all for this month. That's all for these guys. It is nine o'clock. We're gonna call it a night. So thank y'all so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, and I'll see y'all next month. Uh, and maybe sooner, depending on if, depending if I feel good enough to record Metro Dread. It's, it's still happening, I promise you. I promise you, Metro Dread is still happening, just a little longer. I need a little more time. Anyway, have a lovely day, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.